Solidity isn't known for its great error reporting, but with the right set of tools you can take your Solidity debugging skills to the next level and ensure your smart contracts are robust and reliable. My name is James Buccini and on this channel I create content about blockchain development and decentralized finance. If you want to stay up to date with these fields then consider subscribing to the channel and please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. So the first tool that I use a lot is Remix IDE. This is an integrated development environment specifically built by Ethereum. It's at remix.ethereum.org. And anyone can use it, you just go on the website, you get this kind of um, online IDE type system. And it's really useful because if you have a bug, like if we put a, um, let's change this chairperson's here to an S, just like a simple typo type bug, you can press Control S at any time and you get this little error message. If you go into compile, we get some more information. It says, did you mean chairperson on line 36? Obviously you did, so we can change that back. Press control S again to kind of, it's, it's the same as like saving a file in VS Code, but it just compiles it here and you get this little green tick if you've got it right. It's probably the most simple way that I've found for finding obvious stupid bugs as you're actually developing a Solidity contract. The next stage is obviously then to go on to doing unit tests. And for this, there's two real frameworks that you can use. There's Hard Hat and Foundry. I am using Hard Hat here. This is a example of a unit test where we're kind of checking the Oracle, should be able to update the price. We call in price update. Then we're checking the spot price and the, uh, the price here to make sure they both equal the amount we updated it to. And then underneath that, we've got next unit test, which is actually reverting based on if the, um, a non-Oracle user can then not do this the transaction. We're expecting that to be reverted with this custom revert message. And this is a way you can kind of go through your functions, make sure everything works as it, as it should do, check the kind of the maths, the logic uh, within your smart contract. As I mentioned before, there's two main frameworks here. This is hard hat. If you really hate JavaScript, there's also another one called Foundry, which is a Solidity-based um, testing kind of framework system with a lot of other tools as well. And that's really good because it kind of allows you to write your unit tests in Solidity. So you're kind of using the same language for testing as you're using to create your contracts. And there's some benefits to that. Well, I think hard hat is maybe more kind of a well-rounded platform for beginners to use. The next tool that I use all the time is an Ethereum block explorer. This is Etherscan. It's the one that everyone uses basically. And we can go into any transaction here. And this is a transaction for a NFT. You can see we've got an ERC721 contract. It's an NFT contract for this Treasure Boy um, NFT. I'm not sure what that is. But we can see what's going on here. If we click to see more, we can see this public mint function has been called and it's been called with the data too. So this guy's minted two NFTs. And that's basically it. We can actually, the other thing I use Etherscan for a lot is if we go into this, we can go to the contract. And because this has been verified, we can actually call functions here. So we can kind of check the balance of an owner or do different things. Actually, we can actually uh, send transactions as well. If we connect our MetaMask to the platform using this Connect Web Free, we can like approve or burn NFTs and do whatever we want without using the user interface. We can actually like interact with the contracts directly from Etherscan. You can also do that in Remix. It's um it's a really useful tool to be aware of. If we get that transaction hash, we can go into the next tool, which I use. Normally I use Tenderly when something's gone wrong. So if I've got a transaction which is broken, I don't know why it's broken, I'm not getting much error reporting. One of my first ports of call is to kind of run the transaction on the Gorelli test there. And we can see if we paste that transaction in, we can see we've got this mainnet transaction. And we can see here what's going on. So we've basically, we've minted two tokens. You can see the token IDs are 186, 187. There's a debugger here, which is really useful as well, because it kind of lets you step through the different um, points in the contract. So if you kind of got a, a, a transaction that's doing multiple things, you can see where it's gone wrong or where it gives you more of an insights into where the, the contract's broken. And it's really useful, particularly for when you're working with third party contracts, which you haven't developed yourself and you're not getting a customer revert message back, then you can kind of step through their, their contracts and see where your transaction is interacting with their protocol, but it's, it's something's not working basically. And it just helps find out what's gone wrong. We can also take that transaction hash and post it into this website. This is by Sam CZ Sun, and it's an Ethereum transaction viewer. 
It's not quite as pretty, but it's really useful. I find it's useful if you've got like a very complex transaction or you've got a um, like a, a DeFi hack type thing where there's a lot going on within a single atomic transaction. You see here we've, we've got the same thing where we've basically we're transferring two NFTs to this wallet address, token ID 186 and 187. So again, it's a really good way to visualize what's going on on within an Ethereum transaction. So there we go, five tools to help debug your Solidity smart contracts. I hope this video has been informative. If you're interested in learning more about blockchain development, then subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.